What's up, guys? Welcome back. OCB Productions back here, and um, today I am actually recording on my brand new camera. What is that? I don't know, but today I'm recording on my brand new camera, and it's nice. It might not look that good because, um, just because I haven't got time to buy a lens yet. And the couch is a mess just because I, um, I don't know, I was up all last night. So today we're going to be talking about some of the expensive things that I've been collecting over the years. So yeah, let's get right into it with the first thing. I'll probably talk about my belts first. So, what's a charger? So first we have this Louis Vuitton belt. This is actually a custom that I was able to get from my friend because I gave him a red Gucci belt. So shout out to him for making this custom. It's rainbow, it's nice, got the black um, black buckle. And I just have worn it out a, a couple times, so yeah. It's pretty good. Um, then I have another Louis Vuitton one right here. This is just the regular brown Louis Vuitton belt. I got this one off the Louis Vuitton website for $700. I wear this one a lot too. Um, I have one more Louis Vuitton. That is the white checkered one. This one's cool because it matches my white outfit with the gold belt loop. It's very nice. Okay, and then I have two Gucci belts. And, um,. Here's the first one, here's the red. The red one. It's nice. Um, I do have a Fendi belt, but I lended it to my dad because I'm, I'm home alone right now. And I lended it to my dad to go out to a concert with so he could flex. So yeah, and I have another Gucci one. This is the black on black Gucci one. And I've got the Gucci logo. So yeah, um, I got all my Gucci ones from the Gucci store. Um, that this, I got most of these in California, so that's nice. Um, let's talk about my ice and my gold. I have a tiny amount, but it's very expensive, and I take good care of it. So this first one right here, this one is not real gold. It, it's not solid gold. It is 10 karat plated. But it's after my favorite rapper, 21 Savage. I know he's getting deported right now. Sucks, but I mean, his music's still good. But yeah, it is. The diamonds are real, and they're flooded with diamonds. The 21. Yeah, so that one's actually not real, like, full gold. Then we have one of my rings. I like this ring. It fits, it fits good, and it's very icy. As you can see, let me just get that. Oh, I forgot. Um, this chain was about with the diamonds. It was about a thousand bucks. This one, it, it's one of my less expensive chains. Ice. This ring is flooded with diamonds, baby. This is solid gold with diamonds implanted on the outside. A little bit of that nice close-up. Look how sparkly the bitches. So yeah, this one was about um, if I remember. Three or four, yeah, three thousand. We have this one right here. It is a a lion. It's nice. It's also gold plated. The diamonds are real. This one was since it is filled, just like the whole face has got diamonds on it. It, I I remember. This one was about four thousand. So yeah. Um, and now we're going to go to the most expensive item I have. I actually got it this weekend. Um, I'm wearing it right now for the, I've been wearing it for the whole video. My Rolex. This Rolex I need to get up close so you guys can actually see. It. Okay. Let me move the camera. There we go. All right. So this Rolex right here, I probably take it off my wrist. Hold on. Alright, so, 
you can see the Ro Rolex symbol right there. You can see it's a little blurry. It's too shiny. But yeah, you can see it. Um, this one it has the cherry red and the in the middle. As you see the Rolex logo, the little pins that um the hands point at are diamonds, and then the thick diamonds on the outside. And then the little Rolex logo back here, right there. Yeah, this one was one of my most expensive items I've ever bought. Um, I've worked really hard to actually buy this one. I've been saving up a ton. That I'm, I've been saving up actually for this one since I was like six. Yeah, I, I used to do chores whenever I was six. Very expensive. This one, I think, because of the camera. This one right here was a total of, I think, ten or nine or ten thousand dollars. I got it from the Rolex store at the uh, mall. And I cherish it. I don't really wear it out much because I'm scared. If someone sees my videos and they're like, bro, I know where he lives, I'm gonna go mug him. See, I don't want that to happen. So, yeah, I, I only wear this watch on occasion. So, yeah. Now, let me tell some backstory on how I got to collect things like this. Yeah, let's get right into it. So, whenever I was little, actually, it was like two years ago, I got this little guest, guest watch. It was about 100 bucks. And I used to wear it all the time until one of the little pins on the outside fell off. See, this looks like the one right there. Yeah, it fell off, and that sucks because now it looks bad, and it's just, like, floating around in there. Then I also dropped it a couple times. So there's a little, like, couple cracks and dents on it, so then I stopped wearing it. It still smells really good. I don't know how they make it smell so good, but, um... So yeah, this is what kind of got me started. I started like buying my dog. Started buying and trading things. I actually think I traded a pair of Yeezys for one of those chains. No, I mean one of those belts. I, I think I pair for the black on black. I I um traded one of the what was it? Oh man, I forgot which one. It was the oh the semi frozen yellow V twos. I I think. Yeah, I traded those for this black on black Gucci belt. So yeah, um, OTB Productions, thank you. Bye.